see. Let's let's start recording. Let's. Why my button? There we go. Well, I've I've had to start recording so I could sync. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I mean, like let's let's actually start <laughs> recording all the things that'll be going into the episode, especially once, uh... especially once I kick it off with the intro. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Adventure Cast. I know it's been a while. Life gets hectic sometimes. All right, life gets hectic, and there's sometimes things that we can't control. You just gotta roll with it. You just gotta. You know, roll I. With it. Yeah, that that payment it took a long time to get through, <laughs> but it's through. It went through yeah. smoothly, so we can come back and do another yeah. episode. Uh, for those yeah. of you who don't know, I'm Chill the Beast, host of Alt Play. <laughs> what else do I do with my days? Uh, I I paint. I've actually been painting. I've been painting a lot lately. I I think I think I'm gonna just disappear from the world and paint a little bit. A paint? Paint, yes, uh on canvas. Yeah, I like I, I actually enjoy painting. I'm I'm quite uh, artistic for those of you who don't know. And I didn't know that. And let's see, I think when I edit the video, I think it'll be that way. That right there is my co host, Jonas. What's going on, Jonas? I don't know which way you're going to be. If I do this and then you're on the other side, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> well, I'll flip it. I'll flip it uh, when it comes to oh, okay. So go ahead and I'll always, I'll always refer to you on this side. And if this side's this side for me in reality, <laughs> that doesn't matter cause it's this side for you guys. <laughs> How you been, man? Go ahead and catch Go ahead and catch up with the audience. Catch up, catch up All right. real quick. I... Um, I spent a lot of money on puzzles. <laughs> uh, there was an unboxing on one of my channels that has a whole bunch of different puzzles. So you should totally go check that out. Mm. That's on the a Little Bonus channel, which I haven't actually mentioned on this channel yet. Or uh, on, on this uh, live Cast thing podcast. There we go. I can't adventure cast. No, you're what right. am I you're saying? Right. Life cast. This is the life cast. The life cast right now. Uh, it's the mini series. It's the mini series within the within the big series. The life cast. I have a link to uh, a little bonus in uh, the description yeah. as well as directly to that video. It's actually a really interesting oh, video. Yeah. I sat and watched the whole thing. It's really you did. Cool. Yeah. Wow, I did how, how, not know that. How'd you how'd you know? I mean, how'd you think I knew that the puzzles came from that vlog? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. yeah but, I actually watched it. Yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty cool. I, I'm glad that you found it interesting. I'm embarrassed. I'm flushed. Well, I didn't. Um, I didn't know there were that many different kinds. Like I've seen, I've seen. I think it's called the gearbox puzzle. Oh yeah, the gear cube. I, I've seen yeah. the gear the gearbox and I thought that was really cool. I thought that was a really cool puzzle. Um I've seen I I've actually seen a few of those. I saw the okay, it's a on one side it's a one by three, and then on the other on another side it's a two by three of cubes. Mm, yeah. I, I've seen that one before. I saw the gearbox. I've seen the ooh, I think it was the Dodecahedron. Uh yeah yeah I, uh, yeah I see, there's a, yeah there's a, there's a, yeah I've seen I've seen that one but a lot of those I haven't uh, I wasn't familiar with like I actually like I, if if it were if see I know I know there it's not like a trick but I know it's it's a formula or an algorithm that you follow to yeah to solve the puzzles if it if it wasn't like sorta yeah if if it wasn't that I guess methodical is the word I'm looking for. If it wasn't that like that, I would I would do it. But since I know it's it's okay, it's 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 not really it's not really a genius thing. It's just figuring out what piece you need to put where to to move I, it. That's what the series is for that I'm going to be doing over there. Actually, it's uh, it's for the hope that everyone that like whether it's you, whether it's like a little kid, and, you know, and an older person, anyone can solve uh these puzzles like i'm sure that any of you can solve this puzzle this is actually a rubik's cube within this one that i stuck in there but uh this is this is the biggest one out of that big like the giant cluster of the video that yeah you saw the one at the end mm. that's what i'm showing right now <laughs> but i'm sure like anyone can solve that you just have to uh have to know what you're looking for mm -hmm. so what that series is gonna do is just uh point out different uh, little 
now where God kind of guides you to where you should look mm -hmm. and the hope is like you can pause uh, in the video certain places like I'll say like po you can pause the video and like mess around with the puzzle and if you can't get it we'll play more but if you can get it and then you like move on mm -hmm. so I'll have time stamps and stuff for the steps but um anyway that's not that's that's totally off i've uh i've spent a lot of money on puzzles but i've also been no lifing runescape for the past <laughs> one one and a half months something like that it's uh it's pretty bad real quick can it's... you can you break down runescape for me like, okay like what, what what is runescape yeah runescape is an mmorpg where basically you're an adventurer and you're supposed to quote quote like you're the main character of the game right you save the world quote quote but you go um there's a bunch of different skills there's a bunch of different quests that you can go on um all your you have like 28 skills i think it is 28 skills that go from level one to level 99 99 is the max mm -hmm. Uh, some skills go to 120 just for no reason other than because they want to add more content into the game. Mm -hmm. And um, on your adventure, you know, th th there's so much content. But I've been playing on two accounts this for probably about a week of my life mm -hmm. over the past month and a half. And... I kind of regret it, but I kind of don't because I don't know what else I'd be doing with my life if I weren't just sitting there clicking the same monster for 10 hours straight every day. Ugh. Now, now what, what, what does that, I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is what, 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 what are you accomplishing by clicking the same monster over and over? Um, the gains, bro, the monies, <laughs> the, the, the virtual, the virtual monies. The games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I asked because I, I saw you playing it a lot, and I was like, "Man, he he really loves him some RuneScape." I, and and then it hit me that I don't even know what the game is. So <laughs> in, instead of looking it up, uh, instead of looking it up, I would rather ask someone. Oh, what what, I, what? Like they're interested in this. What what is this? Could, yeah. could you explain to me? I'd rather hear it than. Look it up on Wikipedia because that's that's There's, exactly where I'm going. I'm going right to Wikipedia for my answer. I'd rather hear it from yeah. the person. <laughs> it's way better though if you actually do that because the game is so much more in depth than I explained it to be. Mm. Like there are 28 skills that you can level up from one to 99 in a thousand different ways for each skill. Mm. Like you know, the, it, it's ridiculous how much how vast the game is and how many different quests you can go on there's i mean there there's probably 200 300 different quests in that game over across an entire open world where you can just go anywhere you want to unless it's locked by a quest and you have to do the quest but it's a great game hmm. no, that's, uh that's yeah to hear that's interesting might might look into it I see, and i i've realized i i never say I might look into it and don't actually look into it. I, I've I've been checking things off of my long and my short list uh, for like the past I want to say three years. Yo, Sorry, three months. <laughs> That's if a you if fun. you <laughs> three months if you if you like the game, I would be totally willing to start like a duo Iron Man series with you. <laughs> Basically, what an Iron Man is is someone who. Uh, can't trade can't use the main market of the game they have to do everything themselves between the two between the uh, that are... like well yeah like we we would do it uh in in a way that we could only trade between ourselves which would mean that we wouldn't actually do like a legitimate iron man because it's actually in, in the game itself you can have uh that style of account but then i couldn't be able to trade with you and you couldn't mm -hmm. be able to trade with me but we'd be able to trade with each other if we just made regular accounts and uh it takes a lot of time to do stuff like that mm -hmm. but you know a lot of it's just afking so you could do it while you're editing a video or whatever and gotcha. make games <laughs> get those games. games yeah it'd be, it'd be something i look into uh i've always wanted to play an mmo uh, back back when I remember when WoW was first launched, I wanted to play that. I, I definitely wanted to get into it until I found out that it actually cost money, and I was in college at the time, so it was, yeah. it was either it was either I 
had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or I played WoW, so I never got into WoW. I'd support you. There's uh, in, there's in-game membership. Like, you can buy membership with in-game money um, in that game, and it's a lot. It's, like, uh, probably, for me, it would be about six hours of work mm-hmm. for uh, two weeks of membership, but... Oh, like that's, that's, that's pretty much nothing if you if you actually play it a lot. It's so. pretty dope. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely let me put that let me actually write that in my list. RuneScape. Dope. <laughs> I wrote it. But dope. I wrote dope. It. <laughs> yeah, well, you told me to clap at the end of the video, right? To sync my audio. Uh-huh. Well I wrote I wrote clap. Instead of just clap. Oh, we can't use that word. <laughs> oh, you can't. No, we can use that no, word. No, we don't use that how word. How can we not use that word? <laughs> no, no. How how can we not use that word? Uh oh, we're not using that one. I okay, I, fine. I draw the line. <laughs> you find the line. Well, you can. Uh, I'll edit you can it. always put like oh. you can edit it, like a edit like a chicken oh, like sound over the top of it. Oh man. <laughs> My face, I made I made a true old face. Oh, this is gonna be great to edit. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this one. Uh, this is great. Okay, so what are we doing today? Unless unless you want to talk about your life first, I, I just want to talk a little bit about the games I've been playing recently. Okay, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy talking about this. But no, everybody know that if videos don't happen on the channel for a while, I'm sorry. But I had a lot of fun playing games that ain't going on the channel. Uh, I played. Let's see. I I beat. I beat Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. And I've never. Let's see. It took me five weeks, partially because I was I was pacing myself. I was taking my time. I was exploring the game as it wanted me to. And I've never mm-hmm. I've never had a more fun five weeks of playing one video game. The game is amazing. The game is great. We're never going to have another Zelda like it, at least not for a while. But that game was great. Uh, Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is all about exploration. Everyone calls it a Skyrim-esque game. I don't... Skyrim, Zelda Skyrim. Yeah, I haven't played Skyrim, so I don't know. Same. I don't know how accurate that is to the description, but I do know that the game teaches you the very basic mechanics and then turns you loose and it turns you loose just enough to where you can do what you want it doesn't let you wander in the dark which i'm gonna get into a little bit deeper once we actually start our topic uh but it turns you loose just enough to where you've learned all the things you need to survive it's gonna get a little bit tougher but you need to figure out how to survive past that and then once you do everything everything is is a lot of fun you can play the game exactly as you want uh Let's see. The only downside I think to that game is I don't have any reason to want to play it anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, there's no replayability at all? I wouldn't say there's no replayability. For me, why why I enjoyed that game, it's completely gone. Now that I've beaten the final boss, it's completely gone. There, there's, there's no reason for me to keep playing exactly unless I wait like a year or two and I forget all the catches in the game. Oh, so it's just more about like exploration yeah. within the game. Yeah, the game, the game is, it's okay. where, let's see, where Skyward Sword was a, a Zelda game where they hold your hand throughout the entire game. Breath of mm-hmm. the Wild takes the first, I want to say 15, 20, 25 minutes to teach you, okay, you press this button to do this, you use these new mechanics to solve these puzzles, all right, see you later. See you later. I'm not telling you anything else. And that and that's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. But I, I I guess I might play I might go back and play it once to see how hard I can make the game on myself. But after that, there, there wouldn't really be a reason for me to come back and play it. Okay, so like nuzlocking it sort of? Kinda. Like Pokemon style. Kinda. Like there's there's these shrines that you find and they allow you to teleport all over the place so you can travel the world a little bit better and then the mm. shrines also have puzzles inside them that you can solve to uh get these things that'll make you stronger they'll give you more hearts they'll give you more stamina so you can run or climb faster or, or farther 
Oh, uh, without getting tired. I might not solve so many of those shrines. I might not solve so many of those. Uh, there's typical boss monsters, but you don't have to fight any of the boss monsters. You can literally, from the time that they turn you loose after you learn the mechanics, you can run right up to the final boss and take them on. You're going to die really? a million times because you're weak as hell. But you, if you want to, there's nothing stopping you from going right in and taking them on. And in fact, wow. I, I think I might do that once. I think I might try that once. If I, it, it, depending on where I die, I'll probably never get a speed run. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna try it again. Cause as with as much strength that I gathered over my five weeks of playing the game, it was still ridiculous mm-hmm. for me to go in there and fight the boss. I still struggled for, I want to say, twenty minutes against the final boss. Uh, but uh. there, but there's that. I also bought and beat. Super Mario Galaxy or or uh uh Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. Galaxy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That, yeah. was, that was the last Odyssey. Mario game I played uh before Odyssey. Mm. Uh I beat Odyssey. I don't know how I feel about that. The only time that I went and watched your, your stream when you were in your stream in that I watched you you were a T-Rex. <laughs> You were just running around, and then the other one, the other time, you were trying to turn on a Goomba, and the, oh, uh, oh, I know what uh, you're talking turn, about. Tur- turning on Goombas <laughs> I, is not my thing, you I know. know just not saying. like not into that. I was about to say, what, oh, yeah. what do you mean? I was turning on Goombas. That's a solid me, and I realized, oh yeah, I was trying to get that Goomba girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. <laughs> It bothered me. <laughs> um, I say I don't know how I feel about beating Odyssey because I didn't expect to fly through it as quickly as I did. I felt like I was mm-hmm. pacing myself. I beat it in four streams, I want to say, either four or five wow. streams, so no more than 10 hours. And even then, mm-hmm. even then, I was kind of playing around. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't super, okay, I need to run here. I need to get this star. And I need to run here. I need to get this star. Okay, I got all the stars. Let's move on. I, was, I felt like I was taking my time. I was exploring uh-huh. the, the world. And I went through it kind of quickly. Now, with that said, there's only so many stars that you need to find or moons, power moons, whatever the hell they're called. There's so many MacGuffins that you need to find in each zone for you to be able to leave and go to the next zone. But then I believe there's a total of 600 or 700 something in the game altogether. And I genuinely do not feel the need to go back and get any of them. <laughs> You're like, I've experienced as much as I'm going to experience in this game. There's, there's, I think I have 139 and that's still me getting more than I need for each world. I got it. I think I want to say at least two extra for each world. There, I think there was 10 worlds, mm-hmm. 10 or 11. Um, but then there's a total of six or 700 in the game and you have to do like a bunch of weird things like uh you can find pictures in all over the world all all over the game that's in different spots of the world and you've likely seen the place already that you, that's in the picture you've likely already been there and seen that exact spot okay. but something's a little bit different something's in the picture that was not there when you were there you have to go back and um, you have to go back and investigate that see see what's wrong see why yeah. see why that's there uh and then oftentimes that'll give you a power moon uh that's cool that's, that's super cool but that's like uh super mario sunshine yes yes exactly sunshine did that yeah, and it's it's super cool. The only problem is I have to find the pictures. So now I have to travel all the different worlds and look for the pictures, and then travel mm-hmm. all the worlds and find the spots in the pictures. I think I only have three. After being the game, I only have three. Uh, and then Nintendo releases a bunch of them on their Twitter all the time. Blah blah blah. Huh. Okay. Uh, and that's my book report on why there might not be any videos on my channel this week. <laughs> Your book report. <laughs> oh, I, I I recommend it. Like I require this in writing. <laughs> you never did that back in back in elementary school. I never wanted to write for book reports, so I would I would record something. It would be it'd either be something oh, audio uh... or it'd be a video, and I turn that in. I feel like writing most of the time. Wow, I never I never even considered that when I was a kid. They're always like, you have to write your book report. They give you a form like you'd have like mm-hmm. three pages 
bound together mm-hmm. and you'd have to uh you'd have to fill everything out and it was just i didn't like it yeah we got those scores too i still did mine in video in audio in Yo, tape recording. <laughs> i didn't follow rules <laughs> i um <laughs> i didn't even do my like final or my book report in my seventh grade english class and i still passed with an a even though i should have had an f <laughs> like i did not do any like we did this weird book called like balsa or something like that it's like i don't know it was some japanese something or other mm-hmm. uh and i didn't really understand any of it and i didn't really care about any of it so mm-hmm. i just I just gave up. I was like, oh, whatever, I don't care. And then I realized the final was on it, and I was like, oh, well, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> well, there we go. Go <laughs> past. I was like, whoop, yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's, there's a lesson, kids. Don't do, your, don't do your work in class the way it's intended for you to do it, and you'll still pass. Lessons from Mr. Jonas. Don't do your work. <laughs> All right. We've assembled to hear for a purpose good sir uh i asked you a question in discord knowing that this would be the topic that we talk about on the podcast and the question was what are the top five games that you've played that you haven't finished what are the top five right. games that you played that you haven't finished i realized i, I, I realized I, I, in my I, head i had some like some protocols for them and i said whatever 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 you qualify as having played and haven't finished go for it (laughs) all right well i don't know if you'd consider this one a good one but i think we can all relate that 90 percent of the time you don't finish your monopoly games Mm. i (laughs) i've never really finished monopoly game like ever unless i lose but i don't sit there and watch them finish right (laughs) I don't think I've ever won a Monopoly game, which means that I'd have to make it to the end to, to finish, and I haven't finished it because I haven't made it to the end. Well, Circular reasoning, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, considered, I considered finishing a game whatever you considered to be the understood end state of a game, whether it's a win okay. state or a fail state. So for okay. so for Monopoly that could be that you won the game or that you got kicked out early. Monopoly, I mean, I haven't won really very I don't know if I've even won a Monopoly game, but other than that, they get the games take so long. Okay. And then for, Oh my gosh. And then for each of our three games, uh I'm sorry, each for each of our games, there's three questions that I want answered for the audience. Yeah. Uh the first is what is the game about? The second is. Oh, second is, I have to explain Monopoly what it's about. Just, just, just not like a in, in depth one. You can, you can be brief. Okay. For the second question, what drew you to the game? Why do you play? What interested you with the game? I, and then for the third question, what happened to keep you from playing the game, or why haven't you finished the game? The floor is yours, good sir. Okay, Monopoly is a game about losing with style. <laughs> Um, it, it it's it's a game about trying to screw everyone over without screwing yourself over. I guess mm. is the is the style of the game. So right, you just buy a bunch of properties, and if somebody else lands on that property, then they have to pay you money based on the value of the property. Mm. And uh, so you buy as many properties as you can, and you also have to save money to pay people so you don't screw yourself over. Mm. But uh, the game takes forever if you're good at it, <laughs> and it, it it sucks. It really does. You leave it up for like, you play it the first day. You're like, okay, we're gonna finish it, and you play it for four hours, and then you're like, okay, I'm kind of sick of this. Everybody's sick of this. Let's go watch some television. Go to sleep. Wake up. You come back to the game, play it, and you're like, we gotta finish today. We gotta finish today. This game is taking forever. We gotta finish it. You play for another three hours. Nah, nah, you don't finish nah. it. So you wait like you see it. You see it like the next day, and you're like, okay, we might. Nah, nobody wants to play it. Everybody's <laughs> sick of it. 
So you wait like a week and it sits out in your dinner room table and your dining room table and it's just there and you're just going to keep looking at it and looking at it until eventually they sit down for another two hours, play it, decide it's not fun because nobody's doing anything and clean up the game. Hmm. That's how it goes That's every goes. time. <laughs> every time. Without exception. Okay. So a couple <sighs> notes that I didn't get into. Um, it's it's a top five, but it's not in any any specific. It's it's not in any predetermined order. There we go. I just porky pig my way out. Mouth diarrhea. Of that one. I just porky pigged all the way through that one. Um, porky pig. And also, and also, there's no right or wrong answer between either one of us. Uh, his reasons are valid for why he hasn't finished games or why he doesn't. Uh, why what what. What he liked about them, same as me. Uh, my reasons are valid, and wh- whatever reason I liked it, that may- that's valid as well. Your opinions aren't valid specifically because I don't like them. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, like... now, with that said, I do have a question about when you play Monopoly. How many people do you play with uh, regularly? I like usually about four because, I mean, I've had a game of like six players in Monopoly before. Mm-hmm. That sucked. Yeah, that I, but, I can see that uh, one taking pro. Yeah, but usually about four people. And then also, when you play Monopoly, do you just follow the rules of the game or the rules? That nah, we do, we do that. We do the free parking, money in the center. You, you know that's why it takes four hours, right? It's so fun, though. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely fun. It it's absolutely fun. So fun, but. I, I know I asked that because I know Monopoly. Uh, I yeah. I used to play that every weekend with my friends back in 2008, all the way to like 2010, mm-hmm. literally every weekend. Uh, and the rules of Monopoly are set so that if you follow them the way they're supposed to be played without changing anything, the game's over mm-hmm. in an hour and a half. At the longest, that that's that's uh, that's four people. I'm sorry, that's three to four people. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you specifically because I don't, I I don't like it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, uh, okay. now, now, most of the time, changing any one rule or adding any one rule doubles mm-hmm. or triples how long the game takes. Like the free parking rule. That's so fun. Though. Yeah, it, that's it's, the way that everybody plays. It, though it's so much fun, but it, it defeats the purpose of the game. The game, yeah. the game was actually made to simulate. Uh, I forget what 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 like it's it's not communism or anything like that, or maybe it is. Maybe it is one capitalism. Capitalism. There we go. It, it's to simulate capitalism back in the early or the late. Excuse me, the late eighteen hundreds. Uh, yeah. So when you when you add those house rules like free parking or or you get rid of auctioning, what you do what you're doing is uh you're what what's it called? Inflating the economy? You're add you're adding you're adding extra money adding back into money. the economy yeah. and you're making it so it's actually harder for you to lose, which isn't the point of the game. But <laughs> you are one hundred percent right, it's so much fun to hit the lottery in the middle yeah, in dude. the middle of the game. That's all you play for is you're like, yeah, I got to get this. And you're like, you're in a tight spot and you land on it. You're like, yes, money, finally. And then you land on Boardwalk and lose everything. Mm-hmm. That's actually a really good game, you know. I was not expecting a board game to make it on this list. Because in my head, all board games have very obvious win states and lose states. Like, I don't even have a board game on my list. And I have more board games than I do video games. That's wild. I'm, I'm amazed you came up with one. That's a good, you know, give everybody a round of applause for for Jonas today. He gets the gold star. <laughs> gold star. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even gotten a gold star since I was like four years old. <laughs> Coming out. And now I have a gold star. I, I'm so happy. Coming out the gate with Monopoly. Okay. That's a pretty good one. Wow. All, right. All right. I'll go ahead and list one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to – this is actually my favorite game that I've never finished because this game is trash. When I realized what happened in this game, this game is trash. Final Fantasy thirteen is is on my list for games that I've never finished. And let me tell you why. Okay, 
So Final Fantasy 13, for those who don't know, Final Fantasy is, is a JRPG series or Japanese RPG series where you're focusing on stats and combat damage and things like that. Uh, mm-hmm. In most Final Fantasy games, or most more than more modern ones, feature what's called active time battle, which I thought was really cool Like once it was actually explained to me. Uh, let's say Jonas and I are both in a fight, and I have a speed stat of... Let's say I have a speed stat of three. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to explain this. I have a speed stat okay. of three, and Jonas has a speed stat of one. Effectively, what that means is every three times I'm able to attack Jonas, he's able to attack me once because my speed stat is three times as fast as his. I'm going to generate. In, in the time that he generates one ability to attack, I've generated three to attack. And I thought that was so cool because like, I had never seen that in a video game ever. Everything was strictly turn-based. I took an attack. He took an attack. I took an attack. He took an attack. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's so dope. That's so dope. And then they, they explained the typical Final Fantasy stuff, you know, fire attacks or fire magic attacks, wind magic attacks. I was like, okay, I can get into this. I can get into this. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And it starts out like that. Uh, you also increase your stats just as you would in any JRPG over the course of the game by leveling up. You gain so much experience, and they'll give you skill points to spend. Excuse me, skill points to spend in the different stats. Uh, now here's where it stops being a JRPG, and it becomes a walking simulator or a movie simulator. That's even a, that's a better word for a movie simulator. <laughs> movie simulator. So, okay, so I level up. I go from level one to level two. Typically Uh in a JRPG, I can choose where to spend those skill points as I want. I can choose Mm -hmm. if I want to increase my attack, if I want to increase my defense, if I want to make myself stronger, things like that. Or, I'm sorry, faster, or things like that. Uh in in Final Fantasy XIII, you can't choose where to spend it. You can only choose how much to spend. Which basically, oh. which basically means you're going to be spending it where it wants you to spend them, every time, every single time. Which isn't too, oh. which that honestly, that's not too bad. That that's not so mm-hmm. bad. I if I if the order is, I increase my speed, then I increase my health, then I increase my attack. But what I want to do is increase my attack. I just have to gain enough experience so that I can spend those points three times and I'll be able to increase my attack the way I want to. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, I also got two other things increase. So it's still not so bad. The pro- the true problem is after a while, they lock you out. You get to a certain point that you can't spend any more skill points until you get to a certain part in the story. And every, huh. and every single time that lock is after a boss fight. So uh, that's like that's like capping your your Pokemon levels at the level of the gym leader. Exactly. Or something. Exactly. Now, immediately yeah. after beating the boss fight, I can now spend all the skill points that I want up until I get to the next lock. So eval- let's evaluate that. Basically, the game, it's got a pseudo difficulty about it. It's it's not that the game is difficult is that it's keeping mm. me. At a certain level, it wants to make sure that no matter what, no matter how I got here, this mm-hmm. is going to be a hard fight. This boss fight is going to be a hard fight. That's not fun. That's not fun to me at all. And then I told people that I told people I didn't like this. I, I don't like this. The game is the game is falsely rewarding me and falsely challenging me at the same time. And then mm-hmm. I found out from some people who actually played Final Fantasy uh, all the time. They say, oh, don't worry. You'll get to the point where the lev- the caps don't exist anymore. And I said, where is it? Because I'm already at the cap for level four. And, and I'm still being capped. I, I have all this experience. I can't spend it. They said chapter 13 is where you'll be able to spend the points with no more limits. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. How many chapters are there in this game? 17. Uh, <laughs> I have to play until the last fourth of the game to be able to play this game the way I would play any other JRPG uh, game. I'm out. I won't play this anymore. I won't play this game yeah. anymore. I won't play this. You can't make me play this game anymore. I hate. I hate 
Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 13 is literally the exact opposite of what I like in games. I like to be able to do what I want. If any, uh, the, every single time a game tells me I can't do what I want to do, that that's that's a bad review. That's the worst. That, that's, a, that's immediately I, I'm that's I'm one worst. step closer to not wanting to play this game. I, that is terrible. You, you, I can't play. I can't play through. It's like it's not that everybody that plays the game has the exact same experience. Exactly. You know, I have I have the problem with with games like that a lot of the time actually. Like there's so many different games out there, but they're all they all do something similar to that where everybody that plays the game is gonna have the exact same experience. Like say they, they have like a randomization of the first character that you get and it's always the same character mm-hmm. or something like that. The always the first like five characters you get are the same characters and none of them are randomized, mm-hmm. even though it's like, Hey, you should randomize your characters, blah blah blah. No, you can't. It's it's, it's a false impression of randomization. And then the story it was kinda yeah. it was kinda dumb, if you want to be real about it. They they, they made mm-hmm. up words and never defined them. And that didn't that didn't help. I was like, okay, maybe the story will get better, but but I'm kind of getting this. I'm kind of getting the gameplay mechanics, and then I realized I was like, nah, I can't play this game. I can't play this game. I can't play it. So that, the, that's the, my first one, Final Fantasy. That reminds me of uh, of what I was talking about. Like I was gonna say this uh, before in the in the in the <laughs> life cast part of the. <laughs> section of the of the talk here and um it was that i learned what a satanist was oh yeah yeah i was like wow that's pretty interesting because it's not really what you think it is like a satanist isn't like somebody who just believes in satan or like worships satan they're actually atheists that Mm. just go under the name satanist to because it's kind of like a mockery of people that are that are theists Ah. Like a Christian or whatever, and, and so every time, and it, and they use it to their advantage. So like every time, uh, Christians or Muslims or whatever put up any other religious things, like a religious sign saying like, "Oh, come to our church," or like, "You will be saved," blah blah blah. Uh, they'll put a sign next to it that's like Satanist, blah blah blah, and stuff. And so then the Christians like take it down because they don't want to be affiliated with it. But uh, so I thought that was really cool. So that was just like something I was going to put up that put out there. Gotcha. Uh, my next thing is uh, Valley. Valley. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Valley. That sounds familiar. Valley. That, that's a, a game. That's a pretty recent game, right? A few, yeah, few that's ago. a game uh, that I was playing on the channel for uh, a while. Basically, it's a it's a game where you're a you're a researcher. Um, and you're going around and you're trying to find this thing called the life seed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've heard legends and stories about this l- magical, mystical life seed of wonderful joyness. Well, um, within that, uh, you just kind of you, you, your friends are like, "Oh, pff, screw you!" And you're like, "Oh no, I'm gonna go." take my budget canoeing lessons down the street (laughs) (laughs) and and crash myself into a mystical wonderful thing called the valley and it's uh it's a whole storyline of you're following through uh the i don't know whatever the secret the secret Illuminati government of two thousand or 1942 or something like that. And you're, uh, you, you go through the, their process and like all their facilities and things are everywhere. And you're going through them trying to find this life seed that apparently they were investigating to make a, uh, uh, weapon of mass destruction and yeah, all this stuff. And it's pretty cool. And I didn't finish it because, well, I lost all my save progress. Ah. Uh. And I didn't... I lost my recording. That's one. Then I went back and I was like, okay. Try to try to just look at what I have. And then my game save file was gone. And I'm like, well, dang, that sucks. Mm-hmm. 
And then I was like, well, I played for like three hours. I lost three hours of my recording and three hours of, you know, progress. And it's like, I don't really want to have to go through such a story-based game because it's all like all these revolutions and things like popping out at you and you're like, whoa, that's how the story went. Or like, whoa, that's what they did with that. And then I don't really want to have to go through all that again because it's not fun. It's like cool the first time, but then when you have to go through it, then it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen all this skip, 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 skip. <laughs> and it's not really fun for anyone watching and it's not fun for you to play it. So I just stopped playing it. I was like, ah, whatever. I don't really care. I was pretty close at the end of the anyways. <laughs> whatever. I'm done. <laughs> now, I have a question. Uh, you say you lost your save data. Do you think... If you would have gone through it a second time, you would have experienced things differently, Dif- differently enough to where it would have been worth playing it over or or catching back up. Like, uh, if I had played through it again, would I have seen different things? Yeah. Do you think it would have been worth it to to experience it a little bit differently with with what I'd you want- know, and then accidentally run into something new? I'd want to say yes, but I was very throw going through that game because uh-huh. i figured that it was so story based and there was probably a bunch of hidden secret things mm-hmm. everywhere and there were and i found them and so then i don't really want to have to go back through it because then i just skip everything i wouldn't really care because i looked at everything and if there was something that was hidden better hidden than uh what i found the first time then well so be it i didn't find it ah uh, okay because I'm I'm looking at it on Steam, and I re- yeah. and I realize it's it's one of the series that you were doing on the channel after the video first started. It looks yeah, it looks like it has some inter- kind of interesting mechanics. It does. It has really really fun mechanics. You can go check out my um my video on it. It's just for, it's a first impressions video. It was <laughs> it was the first episode, but I changed it to a first impressions video mm-hmm. because I couldn't. Uh, I didn't continue the series. And I asked that because I see one of the features for it is experience unique twist on death. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you. So, mm-hmm. so I, was, I, well, that, I was thinking yeah. maybe since you have a little bit of knowledge on how to get through some parts, maybe you would get through it without dying and then see something a little bit different. Well, you don't die very often in that game, and if you do, then there's it's very, very forgiving <laughs> to your deaths. Oh, it's really forgiving. Oh, I've noticed yeah. that's that's becoming a thing, and I actually think that's really cool that games are making your death in them matter. That's I think that's 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 a mechanic that's kind of untouched. It's it's not it's not mm. really taken advantage of a lot. I, I mean, I guess, yeah. But then you said this game's not so forgiving. It's like, okay. <laughs> oh, they just yeah. oh, they just found something they could do and then didn't use it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's number two. Did I, did I write that down? Yeah, I wrote it. I'm keeping track of which ones you come up to because it makes it a little bit easier to edit. <laughs> All right. Okay, number two. I think... I think when my number two, which one? Nah, I'll save the one that's going to piss people off for number three. Number two. We've already pissed people off enough in this. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> uh, my, uh, my number two is a game called Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I think I've actually talked about it on the podcast before. I think this was on the episode that I did by myself. Uh, this game, let's see. Let's see if I can accurately describe it because I didn't make it too far in. Um, this game, basically, it's uh, imagine Skyrim. Now, I've seen people play Skyrim. Imagine Skyrim except a dragon came and took your heart and now you got to go get it back. Oh, and you could either be a, a soldier or a wizard or an archer. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Uh, the game. Okay. I think the game teaches you the mechanics really well. I mean, it's not too much other than going around shooting wolves or or stabbing wolves, uh, fighting bandits, exploring the world, and things like that. That's right up my alley. As soon as as soon as I heard, I can pick what class I want to be. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. It's it's a third person something or other. It's it's like <laughs> it's 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 weird. I can't describe it. I get. I guess. 
open world. It's a third person. Thir- third person open world brawler, I guess. No, just put a dot on it. Just it's a third person. <laughs> period. <laughs> It is, it's a third person, man. And, it, and it's all about exploration. <laughs> After you learn the base mechanics of the game, how it works, uh, it's all about exploration. Just the same same reason I liked Breath of the Wild. You, you're turned loose. You mm-hmm. can you you can effectively go anywhere. And then there's a bunch of different worlds for you to travel and do things. Like it's 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 I want to say like a Middle Earth type world, uh, Middle Ages things like that. The what why ha- what kept me from finishing this game. Breath of the Wild is, is is it handled turning me loose the perfect way. It gave me everything that I needed, and then it very slowly introduced some small things over the course of time. But the end goal was very clear, just like in every single mm-hmm. Zelda game. Well, the majority of the Zelda games, I know the name of the bad guy that I got to kill, and everything that I do should be leading me towards getting stronger to deal with this bad guy. In Dragon's Dogma, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. All I know is I travel around, I fight some bandits, and then I go take a nap because now I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I, and that, that's why I said I'll bring up Breath of the Wild later. I'll go deeper. Because I really think Breath of the Wild handled it handled it the best way. They, they, they established who I got to kill. And they said you could do whatever you want in between this moment here and then going to fight the bad guy. The world is yours. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I know that the game is it takes a lot of real world mechanics into perspective. So, for example, in most in most games where you could travel around with a sword or with a, a bow or weapons or things like that. Uh, the game doesn't care that you're just openly walking around with weapons, but there's a one of the first major cities you visit in Dragon's Dogma is it, it's it's like a castle town. So so okay. there, there's an established castle where uh, a royal family lives, I guess, and then they have guards and all these people, informants about the city, things like that. Mm-hmm. When you get to that castle, you need to put your weapons away. They don't like people carrying weapons around the royal family and all the royal treasure and things like that. Might not make a few friends. Well, it's very, very easy to accidentally press the button that draws your weapon. So if you do that in front of the guards, they'll be like, hey, what are you doing? You're under arrest. And then they'll put you in jail. They'll put you in jail. Jonas, how do you think you get out of jail? Uh, get out of jail free card. They took that when you went into jail. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, bribe them. Nope, they took yeah, they, yeah, they took yeah. your money. They took all of your your uh, oh, all gosh. your effects. Yeah, you. Well, I don't know. Take your floss and use it as like a chain to s- cut through the bars. I, I, <laughs> you wait. You what? You sit out your punishment in jail. Two seriously. Two hours. You got to sit in jail in game for two hours. You can't close the game and come back later. You got to spend a total of two hours <sighs> with the game open in jail. That's. I don't have. What? I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I, I could play. You know what I could do with those two hours? Play something else. <laughs> You, you can just leave. It. What the? You know what I could do with those two hours? I could play something else. That's what I could uh, do. <laughs> the, that's in 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 literally every like that's why I said it's so easy to accidentally hit the button because every time I get yeah. to the castle area, I accidentally press the button and I go to jail. I have time. I have time to deal with that. I'll play something else. I'll play something else. You win, dragon, dragon that stole you... my heart. You win this round. I'll come back. And how I'll... did you figure out? How did you figure out that it was that it was two hours? Did you actually wait the two hours the first time, or did you try to find your way out? Did you try to get out for two hours and then they let you out? I, I tried to get out for five minutes, and after that, I realized I was in real jail, and I turned the game off. I was talking with some friends in in another Discord, and they said, "Yeah, I hate that game. It takes two hours to get out of jail." I was like, "Oh, really? Oh, oh okay." God. Nope, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for it. I'll play something else. I will play something else. Dragon's Dogma is my, is how my did, game. How do they think that was a good game mechanic? It's 
it's this whole idea that everyone wants to play a game that's realistic. And I get it. There's some things that need to be realistic no. in games. Like if I use if I'm trying to build something, I need to use materials. I need to use up resources to build it. So eventually I'm going to run out of resources if I don't <laughs> stock it back up. I understand that. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I can't run forever. So I need to have a, a stamina bar or a stamina stamina count that eventually mm-hmm. runs out if I just run constantly. And then I get to a point where I either need to stop or I'm walking if I want to keep moving. I understand that. That makes sense. If you put me in jail, listen, listen, game designers, if you put me in jail in your game for two hours, I guarantee you in the first five minutes, I'm playing a different game <laughs> i promise you trust me on this uh, trust me on this i'll have time i'll have time i'll have time I, that's amazing to me that they would even consider that as a good game mechanic or consider doing that to somebody that just sounds horrible it's clever but if you if the only way I would think that's acceptable is if that's the only time, the very first time that I get sent to jail, that's the yeah. only time I can go to jail. Or every time after that, I get out in two or three minutes. But mm-hmm. but no, don't. Do not. Do not. But past that, it's a pretty it's a it's an interesting game. If uh, if I would last long enough to not go to jail, I could probably figure out what I'm supposed to do. I probably could. I'm a, I'm, I don't want to say I'm a genius, but I'm pretty I'm pretty crafty when it comes to figuring things out. Don't send me to jail, baby. I can figure things out. <laughs> you have a lot of time to think about what you've done and how you're going to change your life. Because if you want to be honest, and change your ways. You want to be honest. I'm probably just gonna get right back out and pull my weapon out by mistake again. I'm probably gonna do that. I mean, if you're gonna pull it out, you might as well use. It, you know what I mean? Right. Wink, wink. Right. <laughs> so, uh, my next game is well. I mean, I've talked about this a lot, but this this game pissed me off so much that I'm just gonna talk about it again, just just because I hate it this much. Oh, it's gonna be good. Dragon Sin. Dragon Sin. Yeah. Dragon Sin. <laughs> I hate this game so much. So much do I hate this game. Uh. Uh, I explained pretty much everything about the game and, and like the all the mechanics of the game. I'm sure uh, in the last one, if you if you want to catch that and my rant original mind was fresh, mm-hmm. uh, then go check out that video. There's like gameplay and stuff you can watch yep. too, and the fancy. Uh, are, wait, are you gonna have the gameplays in this one? What are you gonna do for the Monopoly one? Are you just gonna sit there like I'll find, Monopoly board? I'll find, I'll find something. I'll make it. Work. <laughs> I'll make it work. You just sit there and play Monopoly by yourself. <laughs> um. So, Dragon Sin is a game where basically you just get dropped into the game, and they're like, "Hey, wow, I'm in a cave," and then you move forward like two feet and it's like, whoa, the cave is collapsing. You got to escape from the fancy cave. And then you're like, what, what, what do I, what, why, what, who is, what is doing this? Why is this happening? It doesn't really explain. It's just like, somebody's collapsing the cave in on you. Mm. Okay. So you make it through the beginning of the game and then you're just faced with the fact that you can turn into a dragon for no apparent reason. Like, it's not explained. You just poof that you're a dragon now and you can beat crap up. <laughs> and then either the monsters are really, really, really hard or really, really, really stupid. <laughs> the The first two enemies you, you fight are, like, they just run around in a circle. They run around in the circle around you for, like, maybe 10 seconds and then they'll come in and try to attack you once. And you can't dodge these attacks. These attacks are pretty much every single attack in the game is pretty much non-dodgeable except for your blink Mm. where you just like teleport away right and um the thing i hate about this game is the absolutely ridiculously hard scaling there is no way to no way to train your character you're just that's who you are Mm. you you, your stats there's no real stats in the game or anything you're just there and then you go and 
uh, you fight a boss, and the boss has, like, a shield and its health, and you have to hit down the whole shield until you can actually hit its health. You hit about a quarter of its health, and then the shield goes all the way back up. Mm. And, you, uh, yeah, you... you and then the next boss after that, it's probably about an eighth of its health. And it has even stupider attacks. And it looks like a puppy dog. Yeah. It walks like, It's a dragon that walks like a puppy, man. I, I can't take these games, man. <laughs> this, this game is ridiculous. <sighs> I hate that game so much. And so I never finished it because it should, the gameplay is just repetitive and ridiculous. And ridiculous. It doesn't teach you enough. It... It has no story. It, it's just it, it's a bad game. It's a bad game. <laughs> it's a bad game. It's bad. I'm putting that. I'm putting that. It's a bad game. It's a bad game. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. So, Dragon Sin is your number three. Okay. Here I go. Yeah. Here I go. My number three game. Again, these these are in no specific order. My number three game on the list of top ten, top five games I've never finished. And I say this, I don't feel bad about this at all. I don't feel bad about this at all. Okay. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a game that I've never finished and I genuinely do not feel I do not feel a, a need to ever finish it again. Okay. So back in 90, I want to say 1998 is when it came out. Uh, that's when I was. That was the year I was born. Uh, yeah, that's when it came out. It was uh, on the Nintendo sixty four. That's that was. Oh, it wasn't the first. It, it was one of the few Nintendo consoles that I have not owned and still to this day do not mm-hmm. own in any in any rendition. I wanted to play it. I looked cool. I was like, oh, it's it's a Zelda game. I know Zelda. I played it all the time on the NES. I played it on the Super Nintendo. It's another Zelda game. I'd enjoy it. Never got to play it. Uh, GameCube came out. They had a version of it that was with Wind Waker. If you, I think it was Wind Waker. If you pre-ordered Wind Waker, you got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Play it on that. The CD didn't work. Okay, cool. Uh, the Wii came out. The Wii has an eShop where you can download uh, Ocarina of Time through the virtual console. I was like, okay, cool. I'll play it here. Let me tell mm-hmm. you, that game is not, it's not bad. It's not bad. I got through the very first, oh, I didn't go into detail. I'm sorry. It's a Zelda game. Um, <laughs> it's a Zelda game. It's the very first 3D Zelda game. You take you take control of a child by the name of Link or whatever you want to name him, but canonically mm-hmm. his name is Link. Uh, he is a boy. I think he's a He's a Hylian boy. He's a boy. He's a Hylian boy, but he lives among fairies. Are they fair? I think they're fairies. They're either fairies or elf people. I get it mixed up. All these damn games. I get them all mixed up. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he's a boy, but he lives among fairies. And he he meets the princess. He's given the ability through a long series of events to travel through time. And what happens is he travels seven years into the future where the world has gone to hell because he disappeared for seven years, you know, when he traveled into the future. Uh, And he's an adult and he has to save the world through typical Zelda stuff. Uh, You use the time travel mechanic to jump back and forth between child and adult to save the world, both worlds, both timelines. Okay. Uh, the The first three dungeons that you deal with are as a child. So... Uh, you have mechanics like you can crawl and and hide completely behind the shield because you're small. But then you go to the adult phase and you can use things a little bit differently. Like your shield is now actually to block. You can't hide under your shield, but you block with it like you traditionally would with a shield. Yeah. Uh, so I beat the first three as a child, no problem. I get to the first two as an adult, no problem. Then in the third dungeon, it's it's a water dungeon, and the game... It's in the very early stages of 3D. As such, people didn't know exactly what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's a part in the water temple where what you need, what you need to find, there's a marking that you need to find to be able to progress. You can't see it because the texture is on a block, like a, a cube. And mm-hmm. 
that texture is I'm sorry, that cube is wedged between two walls. It's perfectly wedged. You can't see anything on that cube. You need to see that texture. Otherwise, there's no other way. There's literally no other hint on how to progress through there. Wow. To top it off, it's mm-hmm. it's uh, it's an underwater portion of the level. So not only can you not see this cube, I'm sorry, not only can you not see this texture, even if you're mm-hmm. using a guide, it's hard to tell what cube you're looking for because you're underwater. There's no light, so it's yeah. it's darker. Naturally, it's darker than it would be if you were above water, if you were on a surface. Do you? I, I've done laps. I've I've sat and worked to figure out what I need to do. I've gone up against every single wall and tried to push everything. It, it there was one point, one time where I did it. 30 I did 30 minutes of just walking around the entire temple trying to figure out what I need to find and I could not find it for the mm-hmm. life of me. And if you know me, you know I don't like looking up answers. I don't like using guides. I don't like asking for help. I like to figure yeah. I like to figure it out myself. 30 minutes. I decided I'm never playing Ocarina of Time again. Well, I played the virtual console version on the Wii. My Wii broke. I bought another wow. Wii. So I said, you know, maybe Maybe I should give it another shot, you know? Same thing. First three as a child, no problem. First two as an adult, no problem. Get to the water temple, can't find the thing. Can't find the can't find the thing. So the first time I paid ten dollars for it on the on the first Wii, I bought the second Wii. Ten dollars. I'm out twenty dollars. Have two versions of Ocarina of Time. Get stuck in the same part. Okay. So then it came out, it was remade for the three DS. It's remade mm-hmm. for the three DS. And I said, I'm not I'm not I'm not a sucker. I ain't no sucker. All right. I spent twenty dollars where the game cost, I think, forty when it first came out. I spent twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. I I'm I'm getting ahead here. I'm ahead so far. Let's not buy this. But then they said, Okay, we've re we've re it's not a remaster per se. We fixed some things that were issues in the original release of the game. We fixed a lot of issues and then we made it so it's even portable. So I like, okay. Okay, let's let's go. Let's do this. Fifty dollars for the game. So now I'm at seventy dollars. First three temples as a child, no problem. Second, uh, first two temples as an adult, no problem. Get to the water temple, stuck again. So now I played. I paid seventy dollars for three different versions of Ocarina of Time, and I'm stuck at literally the exact same point in every single version of the game. Nintendo really made their money on you. They got my ass. Oh, they saw they me got coming. You. <laughs> they they be laughing at you. They like, hey, we at least made your <laughs> made our money. They saw me coming, boy. <laughs> we made our money. We don't care about whether or not you can finish your game. I mean, you paid for it. it. It's 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 partially that that I'm so against Nintendo remaking all these games. Typically, they mm-hmm. they remake the same games over and over. So, like, I'm expecting to see Ocarina of Time come out for the Switch. And I promise, I promise, keep this podcast yeah. as a record. I promise I'm not buying Ocarina of Time anymore. I don't know, man. I promise. There's no way. I don't know, man. I, I have no drive to ever beat that game, ever. They got me three times. <laughs> Never. <laughs> They got me three times. They got me twice on one sy- on uh, one system. Never again. Yeah. Never. <laughs> All right. Uh, my fourth one. That was a deep sigh. I feel like you're. I feel like you're about to. You're about to go. <laughs> I. Up. I was a lot of information. If you just you like blasted me with information, I had to like. <sighs> done with that topic. <laughs> Like a lot of negativity. <laughs> and it's probably it's probably my <laughs> fault. It's probably my fault. It's, it's, no, it's totally fine. Uh, RuneScape. This uh, I, I talked about this at the beginning, and I am never gonna finish this game. Okay, uh, I'm never gonna finish this game for a couple of reasons. Uh, RuneScape started out in 2001. That's when the game was created, mm-hmm. and it has what 16 17 years of content mm-hmm. within that game how am i supposed they've been <laughs> they've been updating it every single like month 
to two weeks. Like now it's every week they update it mm. with new shit. How how am I supposed <laughs> to catch up to the newest, like the most recent information, the most recent updates in the game? How am I ever supposed to get to all of that content? There's no way. Plus, then, even if I do, quote, quote, beat it, there's different capes in the game you can get. And the most, like, the best cape is, like, the completionist cape where you've done everything. Mm. To get that cape, you have to... You have to do a lot of stuff. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then and then every time they add new content you'll you, you lose, lose the it. Tape. Oh, I was I was just going to ask you do you lose it when they Yeah, you lose it and then you have to get it back again. Question, do you do you like actually lose it is it not in your inventory or is it in your inventory but you're locked until you I think I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure that it's just reclaimable. Like it'll it'll take it away. Mm-hmm. And then um It'll be reclaimable from whoever or whatever. I, th- I think that's how it works, but I'm not entirely certain on that. It might just be an item that you can't actually wear until you have the uh, the requirements to to get it. But it is it is ridiculous. Uh. It is ridiculous to get. You can put in thousands of hours of time into that game and still not get that cape because there's just so much. <laughs> like the insane. Excuse me. Mm. The insane boss title, mm. like the insane final boss title, um, is a title that basically you have to get every single drop from every single boss in the entire game, mm. which there's a lot. Mm. <laughs> there's probably like 30 bosses in the game, and you have to get every single drop, which which includes the pet, quote, quote, pet drop. So if you kill a boss, it has a very, very, very small chance, like one in 5,000 chance of dropping a pet. So, like, you just get, like, a little mini figure of the boss that follows you around. Uh. And that's, like, one in 5,000, and there's, like, 30 of them in the game, 30 different bosses or something like that. And so you have to get every single one of those pets as well as every single one of the drops from that boss is it's incredible and you have to have 200 kills at least on every single boss that i think that's a little excessive (laughs) yeah and that's just that's just one of the things that there are in the game there's plenty of things in the game that you can do so yeah i'm never gonna finish the game i never planned on like i planned sort of on finishing the game Mm -hmm when i when i first started playing but then i realized for i have uh 200k total so as i explained before there's 28 skills and you have one one to 99 99 being the max Uh well um i have a over all of the skills if you add all of them up i have 2k about 2000 wow and then um that's after playing for like two years and that well, 75 days on my actual in-game time 75 days i checked today and uh yeah now, <laughs> and it goes up. now quick question the 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 cape mm-hmm. is there any way for you to see who all has the cape who like all the names of the accounts that do have the cape I'm sure there's some way, but I'm not, I wouldn't know how to find that information, but I'm sure there's some way to find that information. And a lot of people do. A lot of people constantly play and keep up to date with every single thing and continue to get the cape over and over again, over and over (laughs) and over. I I would would say if there is a way that that info can be viewed, it's probably, Mm -hmm. it's probably like a status symbol thing. It's probably something yeah. that someone uses as a status symbol or, or the game references as a status symbol. It's crazy. Yeah. That you can you can miss me with that. I don't think I would ever I don't think I yeah. would uh an MMO that's been out for almost two decades? Nah. Yeah. Nah. It's a little late in the game for me to jump into there. Uh 
at least you try to complete it just to have fun with it. I mean, there's so much stuff to do. It's great. It's fun. Right. Right. But not to complete it. Nope. It's just too late for that one. That ship has sailed. <laughs> okay. My game number four. Uh, let's, let's see. I'm going to be quick about this one simply because I don't think I played it enough to get super in depth, but I, I, I played it enough to know I ain't going to play it anymore. I'm not going to finish it. It's a game called Sticks Master of Shadow. In short, it's a game that's all about stealth. You are a a goblin. And he's he's actually a, a really well written character. He's he's got an attitude about him. I, I I typically like characters that have attitude problems. He's got a, he's he's grimy, he doesn't like he very generally doesn't like anybody. He reminds me a little bit of Shrek, but he's he's not an ogre. <laughs> he's not an ogre, he's yeah. a he's a, a goblin and he's got kind of like a hunch about him. But he is, he's a very stealthy goblin. He's good at killing people and doing it from the shadows, doing it from a point where people would not see him. Mm-hmm. Um, and throughout the game, throughout the different levels of the different worlds, you're trying to sneak to a certain point, steal something, or break something, or kill somebody, and get out. Now, I got this game because I thought I would like... I, I, I like stealth games. I play I play like I said, I played an unhealthy amount of Metal Gear Solid and specific, yep. specifically because it's about stealth, but it's not completely about stealth. The whole the the one hundred percent perfect run of any Metal Gear Solid game is playing through it without getting caught once, without killing anybody, blah blah blah. But you don't have to play that way. If you get caught, yeah. you can still rebound. You can you can take out if you think you could take out everybody, go for it. You're gonna struggle because the game's all about resource management. You don't want to use any bullets you don't have to use. But in the event that you get caught, they're gonna call in uh maybe a dozen soldiers or so, and you can take them all out with no problem. I thought this mm-hmm. game would be like that. It ain't like that. If you get caught, you're gonna get outnumbered quickly and all you have is a dagger or a slingshot. That ain't that ain't my type of stealth game. How are you gonna murder somebody with a slingshot? Well, that's the thing. You're not gonna directly murder them with a <laughs> slingshot. You're gonna wait for them to get under a torch, and you're going to strike the torch with the slingshot from the shadows, so the torch falls on them, sets them ablaze, and they die. You won't. And then and then they'll sit on fire for a good ten minutes and scream and yep. <laughs> get yep. attention until they finally burn to a crisp. Yep. And not not just lay on the ground and roll. Yep. I... Stop. Drop and roll. You, you're just gonna wait. You're just gonna stand there with the torch <laughs> like on top of you. You're like, no, no, it's burning me, please. <laughs> now I've I've realized my type of stealth game is one where I don't have to I don't have to be stealthy. I can be stealthy, and then when the shit hits the fan, oh, it's it's murdering time, baby. I'm going to war. I'm taking everybody out. I don't. I'm gonna, ta- I'm gonna quote that. My bet. My favorite type of stealth game is the one where you don't have to be stealthy. Well, it's not that you don't have to be <laughs> stealthy. Is that once you mess up, once you once you screw up the stealthy part, you can still rebound by killing everybody or taking everybody okay. out disabling everybody one one of those uh you mm-hmm. you don't have there's stealth but there's stealth and there's that's the best way to handle it but in the event that you fail that you you have alternatives i don't like like that i don't i won't say it's stressful for me but i like having plan a's plan b plan c plan d and sticks master of shadow you have plan a because when plan a goes wrong you're gonna lose Whoever you just alerted to your presence, they're gonna call everybody. They're gonna call everybody in, and you and you and your str- slingshot, you don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. That's my, that's my fourth game there. Sticks, Master of Shadow. It's a, it's if you're into that type of stealth game, I'm sure you'll you'll love it because it, it does have a lot of clever mechanics about it. Uh, like you can create clones that'll run around and distract uh, the guards. It actually works as a really cool way for you to figure out where all the guards are before you actually run into a zone. Uh, but it's it's not my type of stealth. It's not my type of stealth. Silent but deadly. No, I, don't, I want silent and deadly. I want silent and, oh shit, 
Now everybody's got to die. <laughs> now I got to set it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My last one was saved for... Oh, um, I thought you were saying a game called Saved. I was like, no, I was, my last I was like, game oh, this is, is gonna saved be good. for... Uh, it's good. It's um, Pokemon. Pokemon um, in general, like probably the newest <laughs> game. Um, it's one? not that it's not that I haven't finished the games individually it's the whole collect them all mode ah, the gotcha. collect them all version of the game where everybody's like oh I gotta, gotta collect them all it's the point of the game ha ha I gotta get... yeah no it's it, it takes too much time it takes too much dealing with transferring Pokemon <laughs> so much BS that just isn't really efficient at all. It, it it's just, yeah, it's not not reasonable. <laughs> it's not practical for me to do. And like, think about it. If if I had all of my Pokemon on one game, mm. right? And I was like, yes, I collected them all in platinum. I would have to transfer them all to black, mm -hmm. and then after that, I'd have to transfer them all to um, black too, and then I'd have to transfer them to X Y, and I'd have to transfer them to. You, you, you see, there's a problem with this. <laughs> there's a problem. Is, yeah, there's too much transferring. There's too much crazy amount of Pokemon in the game right mm -hmm. now that it's just collect them all is not possible. I'm <laughs> I, I'm I'm not trying any longer to collect them all it's too much work well i i agree with you there and i'm pretty sure even game freak the company behind nintendo or uh, behind uh pokemon agrees with you because in gen 3 they dropped the whole gotta catch them all motto that was no longer their motto mm -hmm. in gen 3 there were 380 something pokemon and they realized it ain't it ain't even possible right now forget don't catch them all catch most of them Catch most of catch, them. Catch as many as we give you in this game, right. to be honest. Right, and after that, I, take a break. Yo, I still haven't even encountered a shiny in, in, in the game, ever. I I can't say I know what that feels like. I, I've, I've done shiny hunting, mm -hmm. and in every single game that I've had, I've just randomly run into a shiny, so it's, it's weird to hear... I, that you would never yeah. see. <laughs> I've never seen a shiny. I've played through platinum probably like three times. Uh. I've played through uh, sapphire. No, not Sa yeah. I played through sapphire. I've played through emerald twice. I've played through uh, fire red. I've played through uh, X and Y. Um, and I have never encountered a shiny Pokemon. And not only that. But I have, it, I was so sad that I never got a shiny Pokemon, that I spent two hundred uh, like oh. hours on Wonder Trade, <laughs> trying to get a shiny Pokemon, and I could never figure out if they're legitimate or not. So now I have like an entire box filled with a bunch of shiny Pokemon that may or may not be legitimate. But I know that the uh, the shiny Landorus is definitely not. Uh. <laughs> well, like the level 100 shiny landorus with power band or whatever the heck it was normally no. normally the ones from uh wonder trade they'll have a mark on it that lets you know if it was if it's legitimate or not there's the, the oh, okay. there's the star that uh mm -hmm. lets you know that it's shiny and then you'll have a mark based on the region that you got it in for x and y it's Let's see. X, X and Y is shaped like the map. If you go, if you, oh, okay. if you look at the map for, uh, was it Kalos? If, mm -hmm. if you look at the map, it's it's basically or not the map. I shouldn't say the map. It's if you look at the Pokedex, and it and you go to the area for whatever Pokemon. Say say you want to know where you can catch an Eevee. It'll show you like a mm -hmm. Pentagon. That has it's divided into three sections. The left side is red, the right side is blue, and in the middle is white. That shape is the same shape that should show up in the Pokemon's uh, entry. Okay. If it doesn't show up, it's not legitimate. And then 
where, where uh Jen Jen oh no Oris Oris I forget what shape it is I forget what shape it is but it, mm-hmm. it, it, there's only one shape that it, that each one would have uh same thing goes for Gen Seven there's only one shape possible if it doesn't have that shape it's not legitimate okay that's the easy way cool but yeah I I agree I in fact even in Gen One I've never felt the need to catch them all just catch most of them. Catch, yeah. catch the ones you like and then call it a day. <laughs> call it a day. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I when I played through, uh, I think it was Silver. I played through Silver a long time ago, mm-hmm. like a really long time ago with the old, when I was little and I, I didn't even, I hardly remember even playing it, but I remember I had like a level 83 Meganium or something like that. <laughs> And that was what I tried to get through the Elite Four with, but it never worked. Nah. <laughs> nah, not my game. Good luck. My game is so bad. Good luck. <laughs> and and uh, anyway, I I found the game like a year later, a couple of years later or something, looked at my box and realized that I only had like probably eight or nine Pokemon in my box. Mm-hmm. And that was really all that i ever caught in the game and it made me think about how much how pointless catching (laughs) pokemon are in that game like that that when you have that realization when you start looking at it it's hard to look back it's hard to switch back because it's a real that's a real philosophical moment this this is pointless (laughs) basically it's like wow what is what am i why doing? do i care <laughs> yeah, why am i enslaving these pokemon to forever engage in dog fights the second you say what am i doing that's it <laughs> no turning back yep <laughs> never look at it the same again nope all right <sighs> all right so my last one my 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 last on the top five list. Good, good. This is probably, All right. You know, I said I said I didn't have a a board game on my edge of my seat on my list, but this is probably the closest to a board game that I've never finished as as I'm going to get. Uh, Sid Meier's Civilization Five. I've actually never finished a game of that. For those of you who don't know. I enjoy it. I play this game all the time. I've never gotten past turn 300 in Civ 5. Civilization. Civilization, specifically 5, but, you know, all the games in the game series are the same. I've actually beaten uh, a game of Civilization 2. Ah. I love Civilization 2. It's, they're, they're a lot of fun. They, they fit my need to make decisions and yell at somebody. I love I love yelling at my computer when I play Civ Five. Uh, for those of you not familiar, Civ Five is effectively a an, uh, a four X game. I, I forget what all the X's stand for. Give me a second, I could look it up. Four X, wicked. I forgot it. I forgot to explain what Pokemon is. Oh no. <laughs> well, po- uh, Pokemon. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like all the people, all the people from me that would watch this video, and all the people from you that would watch this video know what pokemon i'm sure are. everyone knows what pokemon are yeah that that was a worldwide phenomenon i feel like that's a safe one uh for those of you who don't know a forex game is it's it's a game where you control an empire and you do the four x's you explore expand exploit and exterminate basically you're trying in civ uh you're trying to establish an empire establish a uh a country uh and you do th- that's that's go ahead that that's ex not that's, yeah what yeah those are yeah. those are the e, 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 x the x is the e x yeah the x is those the x is you're, you're, trying, okay. you're trying to build your your country and have uh i'm sorry and figure out what all exists in the world you you pick a tile to start on and your country starts there and you can you can make units like scouts or archers that'll travel around the world and explore it. Uh, so, so we already got to explore. And then your country is growing as time goes on because you're gathering resources that will help your country to expand. And then you're trying to exploit others by getting them to uh, give you resources that you would use uh, to make your country or your empire even better. 
and then you want to exterminate all the other countries. That's how you win the game, by making sure that uh, your empire is the biggest, bestest, and baddest all around. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I typically play with the advisors on. The advisors basically tell me, okay, you can focus on military, on uh, finance, like, or on food. Chicago, so we took the train. This is the one that you need and to focus on right now. Like, I typically uh, play with the advisors on, not because I need the advisors' one, help, like, stop, but like, because I like yelling at them. I like thing. yelling at them like, no, this is a yeah, stupid idea. Thing. Here's what we're going to do. Here's, I understand I'm paying you to help me. But here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're not doing your plan. I, like I said, I, I enjoy wow. yelling at it. I, li- I like personalizing it like they're they're legitimately my advisors. Uh, so, <laughs> so chill. You said you haven't seen anything bad about the game so far. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a, a kind of a major uh, part. You play as real world countries. Uh, so you could play as America. You'd be, you be George Washington establishing all these, all the yeah. countries. Uh, you could play as England. You'd be Queen Elizabeth. I often play as Queen Elizabeth because she, she, her focus is on uh, the Navy. Connecting with your feminine side. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Duh. But her focus is on making sure when it comes to maritime, the sea, she has control over the seas, just like in real life. Uh, there's also Gandhi. He he doesn't like war. He focuses on peace. You know, you know, you know Gandhi. Mm-hmm. You know Gandhi. You you know Gandhi. Yeah, boy. Uh, so you say, chill. You like all these, all these things about this you clearly you're more generic about this than anything else you've done on the channel so far wow chill you? you seem to really like this game what? and everything about what? this what? game why, why chill. All, why? you should you should you should totally upload this game to the channel all the time oh, no, this is this is one of my personal this is what this doesn't touch the channel uh but but you say chill why don't why is this on your list for games you've never finished like i said this game gets hectic around turn 300 we all go to war. We all I'm at war with America. America's at war with India. India's at war with uh uh the Polynesians. It's it's just a hellish war by turn three hundred. It's it's wars all around. And by that point, it's it's war is fun in 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 civilization. War is fun. Uh but there gets to a point where it stops being about taking over enemies and being political and the AI is an asshole and they they say oh I'm going to start this war with you on turn 298 and then come to uh, turn 302 when you show them that you were ready for this war the whole time they were like oh no we, I was just kidding want to have a truce and I'm like no you did you started this this is your fault you deal with it and then you go take them out but then someone else says hey I wanted to take them out you took them out. I'm taking you out. It's turn 304. And I'm like, all right, we still we still ready. And then you can show them by 307. Hey, I was still I was here. Are you ready? Let's go. And they're like, oh no, we were just kidding. It's, it's fine. We're going away now. We gotta stock up on stuff. And wow. I, I can't keep doing that. I can't keep doing that. It's not fun. That's not fun. Mm-hmm. When everybody wants to start a war and then back out a few turns later, it's not fun. It's not fun. I think I think what I need is to stop playing against the computer and actually play it against like a real actual person. Cuz I can I can Dude. increase the difficulty all the way up and it'll it'll continue to do that. They'll they'll be ready for war and they'll think they got me, but they don't know all the information that I know about my army, so they're they're not ready and then they they back out, they chicken out. I think that's what I need in my life. I need to play against real people. How much how much is yeah. where, where, how much is Civ right now? Civ five. It should be. It shouldn't be too bad because you, you need real friends. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy me some real friends. <laughs> How much is it? Oh, it's, it's thirty dollars. That's not bad. Hey, Jonas, would you be interested in playing Civ with me? <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Might have to. Might have to. Might have to gift you a Civ and, and play a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll t- I'll figure it out. I'll 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 look into it. All right. So that's our wait. Did did you do five? Who went first? Me or you? I, I did five. I did five. First? Yep. Right. That was my entire list. Dope. Yeah, it was your fifth one too. Civ five was your fifth. Yep. Dope. All right. 
Not, yeah, not boy. bad at all. It looks like it looks like we went through our list pretty well. Uh, a question to you guys who who are watching this we made it all this way. First off, <laughs> first off, thank you. <laughs> Second, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, we, we really, really appreciate it. And uh, you, you can leave me a like. Second, what's what's a game that you've never finished? What 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 about no. what about the game? What about the game got you interested in? Why have you never finished it? I, we should start with something like that. We should start. There was a uh, channel that I really did like hmm. that basically just said a random question at the very beginning of every video and was like hey guys i want to know what your favorite type of fruit is or something like that well here's uh, here's what i can do with the magic cool. power of editing i'm sure that's already happened i'm sure we did that the the way we're, oh, no. i'm sure we did uh, wait, it the way what? we're supposed to do it <laughs> dude time just time just jumped dude i'm i'm like what the heck <laughs> i'm so i'm like where am i so feel free to leave that in the comments below. Honestly, by the end of by the end of 2018, I want to say that I took one of these games off my list on games I've never finished. It's not going to be Ocarina of Time. It's not going to be Ocarina of Time. Dragon either Dragon's Dogma, Stick Mas or Sticks Master of Shadow, or Civilization Five. By the end of 2018, I want to finish one of these games. And by finish, I don't mean like. I beat the whole game. Like I reach, I reach a point where, I, I reach a point where it's like an understood. Okay, congratulations, you won. Because I don't one hundred percent games anymore. I realize that I don't have time. I work too much. <laughs> I don't really find the enjoyment of it. Like doing, just doing the game. Like if you're gonna be doing all that extra work for not really that much, uh, that much reward. Sometimes it's, it's not really that worth it. Sometimes I can understand it. Like when the process of 100%ing a game is fun, when all of the aspects, so like let's say 50% of the game is the main game and then 25% is side quest. And then the last 25% is, is talking to all the people. I don't want to talk to all the people. I want to talk to mm -hmm. all the people. So I might, I might do the 75%, but the last 25, unless I feel an, an absolute need to talk to everybody, like I get something from talking <laughs> to everybody individually, I'm probably not going to yeah. do that. But like if all the individual parts are, are fun things, then sure, I'll 100% a game. What's the last time I 100% in a game? Damn, I can't even... I can't even tell you the last time I won. I don't think I ever 100% at a game. Uh, Pikmin. If Pikmin counts, I 100% at Pikmin. I got all of the the parts of the ship before my life support system ran out. Well, I won 100% a puzzle that I have, <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know. I've solved, I've solved pretty much everything in my room. Yeah, if if Pikmin so, counts, yeah. if Pikmin counts as one hundred percenting, then yeah. then that was the last thing. The last thing before that, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Adventure Cast. Uh, Jonas, would you be so kind as to tell our our wonderful audience where they can find you? Let me put that comb down. Where they can find you and uh what to expect from you in the upcoming week on the channel i'm flattered um you can find me uh in the in the description if she remembers but it'll be there <laughs> I, I don't know uh between between lines and loss and uh just jj vlogs um in the next week i'm probably going to be rediscovering my life and how i'm actually going to manage surviving because i can walk again hey i can actually walk That's good. um this is this is an update to my leg i can walk uh if you didn't know i had a broken leg for a little while there but it's healed now and so i can rediscover the outside you know how many times i i actually went outside in the past month and a week zero actually you're not wrong you're like pre you're pretty close like you're, it's like 
probably one and a half times. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if, half, if half makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I really did not go outside very much. I, I've been trapped inside my, my room here. I've pretty much, yeah. And so what will be on the channel is probably a Pokemon card opening. Mm. Um, on between lines because i have that already i could just straight up upload that right now which would be probably about what, two days from now which would you know four days from now is when you'd actually see it on the channel but whatever mm. the point is um that's what's gonna be there i don't i can't really guarantee anything because i don't really everything's kind of weird and wonky mm. in this household so <laughs> well, if something happens something happens all right sounds good uh as for me of course you can find me here on youtube.com slash the alt play uh on sunday nights i also stream over on twitch.tv slash instant replay live excuse me and i've been doing impromptu streams over on my twitch twitch.tv slash the alt play those are completely unplanned they last for however long after work i have the energy to keep streaming which is normally about an hour hour and a half uh, stuff coming up on the channel, provided I have time tomorrow and the day after recording this to record and edit, we're going to have videos go up on the channel. What? I don't know. I, I literally just have time to wake up tomorrow, figure out what I'm recording, and then record it. I don't know right now. I'll figure it out when I get there. <laughs> um streams i don't know what i'm what game i'm streaming next streams have mostly been stuff on the switch uh i i finished as much as i wanted to do in zelda on stream and as much as i wanted to do in super mario odyssey on stream at least for now so i'll figure it out but we mm -hmm. will be streaming we'll stream tuesday at 7 p.m 7 p.m eastern time zone all my times are eastern time zone uh, that's as much as I have scheduled right now. Things can change all the time. Feel free to follow me on twitter.com slash the alt play to stay updated on everything. Uh, if anything changes, that's the first place it's going. It's easiest for me to just post something on Twitter and then go and do it as opposed to make a whole video. I stopped making videos with with updates on what I'm doing. It 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 costs too much time. It costs too much time. Okay, guys, thanks for checking out this episode of the Adventure Cast. Uh, this one is coming out on the 11th. Our next episode, our next one that's supposed to happen, is coming out on April 25th. That's the day after Alt Play's birthday. So I'm going to figure out something fun to do. I'll figure out something fun uh, for that episode. Thank you guys for tuning Yo, in. Yo, I want to make cake. You want to make a cake? I'll make cake. We can make a cake. We can I, honestly. I can. I want to do something. I want to do something super fun, like with everything. Normally, my the birthdays I do for the channel, they've been pretty. I'll say it. They've Yo, been pretty boring. I want to do something super fun this year. <laughs> you know, it'd be fun. I, I, I don't know if you'd find this fun, mm. but I think we should do, like, you should, you should like make a cake mm. without instructions. Just try to bake a cake. Well, I mean, I don't. That'd be amazing. Not, not a lot of people know this, but I love cooking. I I know how to. Oh, I, I, come on, I know how to. How to oh, I'm, I'm a master. Huh. I'm a master in the kitchen. All right, do prove it. Prove <laughs> it then. Prove it then. Make a cake without a recipe. All right, I'll have to do it. Let's see. And then make it challenging for it? yourself. Okay, I, I'll I'll figure something out. I'll figure something. Oh oh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do. Okay, um, let's wrap it up. That's gonna be it for this episode. <laughs> Before, before we go on forever, we're already an hour, 40 minutes in. Thank you for checking out this episode of the Adventure Cast. We will catch you guys in roughly two weeks with the next episode. Have a have a great day. That that's I need, I need a catchphrase. I need a catchphrase when we end these. Have a good one. How about, have, ha, hey, you, have a good one. Have an adventure. Hey.